Hi, this is Henry Nacino. I'm a customer engineer on the Google Cloud Platform team. Uh, for the next few minutes, I am going to talk about Google Cloud Platform billing account, specifically how to control um, access to the billing account in terms of who can assign them to a Google Cloud project. And we do that as far as controlling access and rights via things, something we call IAM roles or identity and access management roles inside of GCP. So real quick, the relationship between a billing account and a GCP project is a, basically could be a one-to-many relationship where a single billing account could be linked to one or more GCP projects. And the projects are where all the uh, usage of GCP resources occur, whether it's compute, network, or storage, or any other services that we have under GCP. They all will get billed through the billing account that's assigned to that given project. So what I want to talk about next is kind of how to control that billing account and assign it to a project. First of all, we're going to go over the various roles. Actually, before I do that, let me just, one other thing about a billing account is that billing accounts really come in two flavors. One is a billing account backed by a credit card, and the other is a billing account backed by an offline agreement or an invo invoice-based billing account. So anyone can create a credit card-based billing account, but to create a offline or invoice-based billing account, you have to work with a Google Cloud sales organization. So let's talk about the identity and access management roles that are assigned to a, that can be assigned uh, for to billing accounts. So these accounts I'm going to talk about are specifically at the billing account level. Um, under the level column, it talks about organization or billing account level. In the context of this discussion, I'm just going to talk about it at the billing account level. I'll probably do another video around how billing accounts work at the organization level, but the context of this is all at the billing account level. So there's three roles that are possible that are available at the billing account level. You can be the billing account administrator, which basically gives you full control of that billing account. You can manage payment instruments, configure billing exports, cost information, link and unlink from projects. There's the billing account user who has very restricted uh, permissions. Um, so you can use this, this role more broadly. Um, and it's typical, it can be used in combination with a project creator. So someone who's given a project creator role, you give them the billing account user role of a specific billing account. That person can create a project and then assign or link that project to a given billing account. And then the third one available for at the billing account level is the billing account viewer. And this is purpose is primarily for viewing billing account cost information and transactions. But and it's typically going to be granted to someone in kind of a finance role, but they really can't do anything in terms of um, the right to link or unlink projects or otherwise manage the properties of the billing account. So it's kind of a view only um, capabilities, view only role for that billing account. So let's look at a, a, an example. So I have a billing account administrator, Joe, here on the left. And Joe is the administrator of a billing account called BA-22. And I have on the right person, Jeff. And Jeff is a GCP project owner. And in this example, the project that he's created and is the owner of is called Proj-33. So I want the ability, so as the billing account administrator, I want everyone in my organization, let's say Joel and Jeff uh, work for the same organization or the same company, I want them all billing to be used, all billing to flow under this billing account. So I need to go ahead and, and link this project to this billing account. So given the roles that we had on the previous slide, there's kind of a two-step process to do this. Joel, Joel can assign Jeff to the billing account user role and then Jeff could go in and now that he's the owner and he's also the billing account user, he can go ahead and link his project to Joe's billing account, billing account or BA-22. So let's take a quick look at how that would look in the console. So let's go into, so let's see, 
here's the billing account. So I have a billing account called hnacino-mdb. And what you can see right now is there's only, uh, only, the only person linked to it is myself, hnacino at google.com. So in this case, I would be kind of like the, the Joe persona on that slide. So now I have, let me go to the other slide. And this is under hank.nacino at gmail. So this is another user. And this user has two projects, one called hanknack.01 and hanknack.02. And if I go into billing, neither one of these are linked to a billing account. And if I go into hanknack2, same thing, it's not linked to a billing account. All right, let me go back home. And what I want to do now is like we go back in this slide and just review the two steps again. So the owner of the billing account or the administrator of the billing account, Joe, is going to assign Jeff to as a billing account user. So let's do that. So in this case, it's not Jeff, but it's hank.nacino at gmail.com and I'm going to assign to the billing account user role. And then I'm going to go ahead and add. All right. So now I have added, as you can see down here, hank.nacino at gmail.com is a billing account user for this billing account called hnacino-mdb. So now if I go back here, and I'll actually, I think I need to refresh this. So now if I go into Hank nag one and again, now I'm that same user that was added as a, as a billing account user, hank.nacino at gmail and go into billing I can link a billing account and the one it gives me access to is is hnacino-mdv because I'm a, a user of that billing account so I'm going to go ahead and set the account Okay, so now this project, Hank, 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 Hank Knack dash zero one is now linked to this billing account, HNCNO dash MDB. Okay, so on the second project, I'm going to hold that, hold off for a second on that one, and we'll go back to the slides. And I want to do something a little bit different on the second project. So let's get back into the deck. And now I want to introduce another role. And this role is, instead of being at the billing account level, this is going to be at the project level. So I have a role here called the project billing manager that has the purpose or the ability to link and unlink a project to or from a billing account. So in this scenario, what I want to be able to do is I have a, a project owner, in this case, um, Jeff, and instead of me being the one who links it to a billing account, I want to delegate that to another user. So in my example, I think it's going to be James. Um, so if I go to the next slide, the, the, it, the situation, the scenario is, is similar. We have Joe who is the administrator of the billing account. We have Jeff who owns the GCP project, in this case, hanknack-02. And I have a third user who I want to delegate to the ability to go ahead and link Joe's billing account to Jeff's project. So there's a kind of a, a three-step process to make this happen. So Joe needs to assign Jane as a billing account user, and then Jeff needs to assign Jane to the project billing manager role in this project. So again, we're taking advantage of a project role in this case. And then Jane goes in and can go ahead and link that project, project 33, to billing account BA-22 that Joe is the administrator of. So in this scenario, Jane is neither the administrator of the billing account, or Jane is not the project owner, 
but instead Jeff has delegated her the ability to go ahead and, and link that billing account to in his project. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's go into the console and, and demonstrate this scenario. So let's first start in let's first start here and look at the billing account again, HBCO-MDB. And so what I want to do here is give a, another person the ability to associate a project, in this case, Hank Mac-02, uh, associate that project to the billing account, HBCO-MDB. So let me go ahead and add another person. And... Uh, And to the same role, the billing account user. We'll go ahead and add. And then the second part of this is I need to make that user Henry N dot IU dot alumni a project billing manager. So we'll come in here and we can see in Hank Mac 02, let me refresh this. That the only role, we only have one user who's the owner of this project, and we'll add Henry N. to as a project billing manager. We'll go ahead and add. Actually, I need to do one more thing. Uh, I also need to give this user viewer access to this project. All right, verify that's all there. All right, so we went through two steps. We've added this other user, this third user, who's not the project owner. Uh, the ability to edit, 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 as a user, uh, billing account user to the HNC now dash MDB billing account, and we added the user as a project billing manager and a viewer of this project. So now, if I log in under that account, henryn.iu.alumni, and I go ahead and I can select the project. Let's see if I can even find one here. Uh, actually, if we do a refresh of this page. Okay, so I'm logged in here again. And what we see is in the, my billing accounts that I have access to. And I have agency no dash MDB is a billing account I have ac that I that I have a uh, access to and I want to go ahead and list my projects and the project that I have access to is Hank Mac-02 and I want to associate this project to that billing account and now I can go ahead and set the agency in the dash MDB or link this billing account to my project Hank Mac-02 and now if we look at our billing account you can see there are eight projects linked to it, and if we go back to this, you'll see there's Hank Mag 01 from the previous demo that I did. And if I refresh this, we should see Hank Mag 02 is also linked to this billing account. Okay. So that concludes this uh, little scenario, demo scenario of how to link and specifically in the standalone project mode, uh, not in the organization mode, how to link a billing account um, to a project, both from the perspective of the project owner who wants to be able to link an existing billing account to his project, as well as the case where you want maybe delegate that to someone else, and that third person is going to be able to link that link a billing account to that project without having access 
to create resources in that project. All right, thank you, and I uh, hope this was informative for you, and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.